back to the spinning earth. We're lucky in the northern hemisphere because we have a star that's very close to the north celestial pole called the North Star, Polaris. goes by a variety of names. It's not the brightest star in the sky. It's a, kind of a modest middle brightness star. But you'll always see it elevated above your horizon by an angle equal to the latitude. It's at the end of the handle of the Little Dipper, which we'll look at at a later lecture. And it's easily locatable by anybody who knows the stars. It's not exactly on the pole. It's about three-quarters of a degree off the pole. But it's close enough so that you get an approximate latitude. And it's not hard as you go around the globe. Once you understand your stars, you can go north to Alaska, south into Mexico, down into Argentina, uh, into, into Australia. You will see the sky change its aspect. By the time you get down to the equator at zero degrees latitude, the north celestial pole is sitting right on the horizon. The south celestial pole comes up. And when you get into the southern hemisphere, you're now looking at the south celestial pole and the north celestial pole is down. Come back to mid-northern latitudes and look up and you'll see the pole up here. Now, everything is going to be spinning around the pole in the direction opposite to which the Earth spins. Northern hemisphere will be going around in the counterclockwise direction looking at the north pole. And Polaris can't set. It's always 40 degrees above the north horizon. Consequently, the other, since Polaris is 40 degrees above the pole, no star within 40 degrees of the pole can set. So we have a whole bunch of what are called circumpolar stars that will never set. These include for most mid-northern latitudes such things as the Little Dipper, most of the Big Dipper, and so on. But there are a whole bunch of stars around the South Pole here that can't rise. And they are never visible from mid-northern latitudes, the Southern Cross, the nearest star to the Earth, Alpha Centauri, a whole group of them. The only way you can see the whole sky is to stand on the equator of the Earth when the two celestial poles are on the horizon. Then the whole sky is rotating about these two points here and over the course of the day, presuming you can see the stars in the daytime, which you can't, or if the sun weren't there, you would be able to. Certainly over the course of the year, you can then see the entire sky. That's the only point on Earth where the entire sky and all the stars are visible to you. If you travel to the north pole of the Earth, the equator is going to sit on the horizon. The north celestial pole will be directly overhead at your zenith. And the stars will appear to march around the sky like this parallel to the horizon. The entire aspect of the sky will appear to change. If you're on the south pole of the Earth, the north celestial pole is down and the south celestial pole is up. So you see different things in the sky at different latitudes. It's entirely latitude dependent.